It's time for a re review. No, no, no. You all know the KPH 30 eyes, and the reason I'm doing this video is because it's Thanksgiving, and I'm posting sale links, and I'm like, holy shit, nineteen dollars for for the okay. If you don't own these, why? Please, in the comments of this video, give me the reason you don't own KPH 30 eyes. Because as Zio says, the king and lord of the fucking headphone domain, everyone needs to own a pair of these. This is the one thing that when Koss gave me a fuck ton of them, I was handing them out at RMAF. I literally wrote the room number on it, gave him the princess pasta, and said, go, just distribute these to people who look like they need to find good audio. So that they could get a brand new box of these, try them and go, holy fuck, maybe I should check out this room. Because this is the best buy in audio. And it remains that way. And I don't think, I, I'm trying to remember my KPH30i review. D did I actually do like a separate, complete review for these things? Because let's put them on. And this is a stock pair. I have a couple new pairs that Koss gave to me. They're like, here. Because if it costs, if you can get them on sale for $19, could you imagine how little they cost to actually produce? They're out of, line them up. Um, they probably make these things for like a dollar. And... All right, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Three dollars, but let me go over the bill. Let me, let me re-review it. I'm gonna re-review it. So you have this blue and red. If you get this particular color, because there's three colors, and all three colors, by the way, are in stock today, which I've never seen. There's a white with blue, then there's a gray with like dark gray, and then there's this one, which is like a tan with the red and blue. And I'm obsessed with red and blue and like separate colors for individual wires. So that that makes my happy pee pee go. Makes my happy pee-pee go. These are using the stock pads. It's got the silicone head strap. It's got a little comfort strap, like on a $19 set of headphones. And you can peel this off if you want. It just pops off right there. Boom. Which you wouldn't want to because they're relatively comfortable. Now, they clamp a bit because, well, they don't weigh anything. And if you unclamp them, they just fly off your head. I have a pair upstairs that I use for live streams that I've actually taken a heat gun to it and like stretched it out like like so that it sits like this by default and then i removed the leather the um silicone strap and put uh Dakoni nuggets because i needed to go over the gopro strap which is on the top of my head but this will just push down on the strap so i have a, a customized pair of these and yaxi sells pads for the porta pro which i will link in the description that when you stretch them around because these pads do come off there's, there's like little pegs you gotta like peel it off we're gonna mod these today for those of you who are like, why am I watching this again? Because we're about to modify these. I want to make sure you don't leave before we get to the part where I modify these. But I'm going to give them their little baby re-review as a stock entity. So they're a little bit clampy. You put them on your ears, and they press on your ears. And over time, they'll either stretch or the pads will soften because they are just like a cheap foam. But you play them, and I have these on the Rebel Amp right now. And you're like, huh, you sound... Well, first of all, they're massively open because they're just like there's you, you can't block an entire ear with just this, and they have the space behind it. And there's actually more space here, so they really do. Koss is the luckiest company on earth because I've listened to some Koss stuff that sucks, like just straight up. They're like closed back, like bright green ones. I have them around here somewhere, or did I throw them in the tray? I don't remember. Those don't good, but these for like the money they made them for. Somehow, and I don't know, like you can say, oh, their engineers are amazing, but then everything would be amazing. So I think their engineers are pretty good, and they got real fucking lucky. Because these do low end, like here, um, Cliff Martinez, Bride of Chang from the Only God Forgives soundtrack. I'm just staring, I'm staring into the ceiling like, Huh. Wow, just like, like, they're just clear and have low end. Somehow this can produce low end, even without sealing on your ear. The only problem people have is comfort. Like, real, the real only problem, when people get these, like, oh, they're great, but then they try the Yaxi pads, or they try to bend the headband. But someone, uh, and I don't, some asshole, some fucking dickhead who gave me $12 on Twitch, was like, hey, Zeus, do this, because I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I was like, no. I don't wanna. 
And he was like, but I'm going to pay you to do it. And so I did it. And I, I, I sort of, I did it. And I was like, all right, you know, this is, this is, this is interesting. This is great. So credit to him or her, could be her on Twitch. Uh, I'd say your name, but I don't know if you want to get put on, on, what is it? Put on blast is bad, but then like, what's the other one that's good? I don't know. I'm not a youth. Anyway, he made me do this. Which um, we're going to do now again. But I'm going to do it right for this. Because I bought a, I bought this that stupid mod, which takes the Grado G-Cush pads, which are the big ones for the, like the GS1000s. Like they're top of the line headphones, use these pads. And I actually had these on the SR60 Grados. And, and then you can see them there again on the, um, that's the Mod House uh, experimental pair of headphones that uses them. And they're just foam. They're just foam, and they're designed for the Grados to slide in there, and we wear them. But this fucking legend was like, ah, I bet you that this entire thing will fit in this amazing space that is, because like, it goes down, it goes deep and around. And then they put it on that. So it does. It does work. My only problem with this set is the wire comes up. Like, because the wire is permanently attached on the, on the KPH 30 eyes. And people have done removable cable mods. I'm going to eventually modify headphones. I promised you guys that video a long time ago or the live stream on YouTube where I would modify like 15 pairs of headphones or whatever the hell I have here to do with removable cables and such. And I'm going to skip that for now because we have this little strain relief in the wire that comes down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scissor, which I don't know how old this scissor is, but it's amazingly nice. Why can't scissors be good anymore? And we're going to take these pads. And um, I should probably point out. Uh, we've got. There are the uh, Gerard pads. Which haven't arrived yet. Because they're taking forever. The eleven ninety nine. Then there are the Vever pads. $10.07. Then there are the Misi Misodico replacement pads. Twelve ninety five, which is what those are. Those are the ones I bought a long time ago. Then there are the Grado Authentic headphone replacement pads, forty five dollars. So I don't recommend spending forty five dollars on the pads to modify a nineteen dollar set of headphones. All these pads you can get replacements in three different. I'll see if I can link all three of these. Are under thirteen? It's just thirteen, ten, and eleven, and twelve. And then there's the headphone itself, eighteen ninety nine, thirty seven percent off, lowest price in thirty days. That wallpaper, by the way. Um, so these are cheap, and these are cheap, and we're about to do something wonderful. I'm going to take this scissor, and uh, just from shipping, these some some of them have like an ovular shape, like it's not round. You can see the hole is like a little. I'm just trying to get like the best best view for you guys to see that the view of the ovularness. Find it on the long end, and just shove your scissor in there, and go. I'm going to go all the way down here and go whoop. I'm going to do that on both of them. Find the ovular, the long... We're cutting with the long side because that's sort of like a, a tall shape. So I want the wire to come out there. So I'm just going to wiggle that bitch in there. Yeah, yeah, there. There. That looks good. And I'm going to go whoop. And here's the mod. Are you ready for the mod? This is the entire difficulty of the mod. And... The clamp, this is going to take care of that because the pads are so big, it's no longer pressing on your ear. And you don't have to take off the original pads either because these have a hole in them. And you could take off the original pads, but I think they have something to do with the tuning. So now we're going to take the part we have with the slit at the bottom. And, oh, look at that. It's just, it's just going to, it's going to take it. This bitch can take it. And just stretch it around there. Hey, hold on. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay, that's one side. This is the most difficult mod ever, ever on, on undertaken on this channel. So much soldering, so much precision 3D printing. Do, 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 do. Just make sure it lines up with the wire thingy, and we're done. And actually, these pads are a little bit softer than the ones I have on these. These are the. Uh, Makiku's Medarder. Sometimes these pads can be like different uh, f densities, which could change the sound a bit. But we're going to try because I just put these on for the first time. We're going to see how these hold up. So now, let's... All right, first of all, 
the clamp that was a little bit, you know, it's a little bit because it was like on New Year's, it doesn't fucking matter because now there's like eight times the surface area. And some people are annoyed by the actual foam, like the feel of the foam touching their heads and they try to swap it out. I'm fine with it. These weigh nothing now. Huge pets, by the way. These weigh nothing. So now, two things happen. Two things happen. First, you lose a little bit of that treble sparkle. Now you could probably bring that back. In fact, let's 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 test that. All right, I'll test that in a second. You lose a little bit of the treble sparkle because you're moving further away from the driver. So these drivers and these headphones are designed to be against your ear, and you're moving them away. So you're kind of cutting the top end off. Now I'm going to cut a, a square or a triangle out of the center of the foam to see if that helps it. I didn't want to do that until I was filming. Because there's no point in fucking up like nine pairs of headphones and nine stock pads unless I can do it on camera. But by taking it away, it also lets the bass develop a little bit more. So you get like an, a bassy KPH30i. The comfort is astonishing. No more would you ever have to do, do worry about the clamp. Follow that up with... The, the distance, since again, remember, talk about this it's supposed to be like against your ear. When you move them away, even like a quarter inch, the power requirements for the headphones goes up. So you're basically, if you're wearing KPH 30 eyes and you found your happy volume, you put this pad butt on, your happy volume is probably like 50% more power. I had to switch to the, um, the Earman Sparrow, this thing that I reviewed. I had to switch to this to use these on my phone. Because it's like they need that much more power. I was trying to use the standard like Motorola dongle for my phone. And it's like, hell no. Like I was at max. And I'm like, now I've switched to that. And it's like, okay, I can handle it again. I, I just... Can we never, ever... The sound stage. I'm going to put this on medium, actually. I'm going to put the Rebel Amp on medium. Oh, there's just a bigness to it. Like, I didn't think, I like, look, I'm usually the crazy asshole that does shit like this, but someone else had to pay me to do it. So they, I owe them $12. If they stream, I'll pay them back the 1,200 bits that they paid me to do this mod because I, I should have listened. I, I should have listened to them. I so should have listened because it's, it's, and here's the thing. If you love your KPH 30 eyes the way they are, you just, mod undone and just put these in a, put those there you, what, you put you spent eleven dollars to try it holy fuck so now what i'm going to do while you're all here is i'm going to attempt to, to perform a little surgery there we go i'm just pinching the center of the uh of the foam and lifting it up cutting out some chunks so now i've got an exposed driver hole right there because this is the foam here is the foam that's like the whole foam so it does actually tune the sound so now that we're moving the thing away now this will be the first time i've heard this so that'll be fun this could be terrible this could be this could reveal extremely sharp sibilant highs and i've ruined this whole system and i have to go out and buy or put replacement pads on this or glue that foam back in place. <sighs> Let's see what we're doing. Let's see. Let's see. If you want to support this channel, see my Patreon and subscribe star for more insane things that I have to be paid for to do. Like, I feel like doing this to everyone's headphone. I feel like I, I need to get in con, con see, the problem is I like Grado. And Grado probably does not like the fact that there's companies selling non-official pads. But I would love to get in contact with one of them and have them, like, sponsor a giveaway. So everyone who has kph 30 eyes could just get these pads for, like, nothing. So now that I've added the um, treble holes, I've, I've tre cut treble slits. Treble slits, that's what those are. Let's give these another shot. Mm. Ooh. It's going to take, obviously, like an hour to actually listen to a bunch of stuff to tell you. 
But I'm gonna give you my first impressions with a little bit of shuffling. Ooh, it's a little, mm, it's a little. I've unleashed a little bit of the demon that is a KPH 30i without. I wonder how I could adjust that. My best bet's probably gonna be, oh, you know what? Maybe not. Because this now officially makes this mod unreversible, doing that. But I've noticed with this pair that I've been using for days that I just want a little, just a tiny baby bit more treble. And I've got it. That did it, because it's, it's, you're taking away, you know, four millimeters of foam from in front of the driver, and you're now directly accessing that driver with your ear hole. And it's absolutely fixed the treble as far as getting it to you. It's just that I have to make sure that certain... Because the reason you do this is because, holy fuck comfort, holy fuck soundstage, a little bit more in the bass department, even though the, the stock ones are like pretty good, now they've got low end. And now we can tune the treble. Like you could hear... It. You could hear the treble sizzling through that fucking ga gash. It's a sizzling gash. I just shove that back in there like a, like a bro. I think I think I did that. All right, if you want to try this experiment at home, cut smaller hole. I mean, that was about as small as I could do by just pinching and cutting. But I feel like maybe I can do like a paper towel. See, now you start getting into the asshole shit. Because if you don't know, there's like toilet paper mods, like this uh, SDR mods and things like the expensive headphones, like HG800s, where you could take like a paper towel. And you know, if you got good paper towels, like these Costco ones, they're two ply. And literally this, like one ply, ha like the, th the thin, like this will adjust the sound of a headphone. So you would, you would take this and you would then cut whatever size thing you need for your tuning operation. Let's see if I could do this live on camera. I'm just gonna shove that in there. It doesn't need to go completely and I will obviously modify that later. But now we, we are we are officially headphone tuning. And actually I should bring up another point of what something I've done because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a video out of it this this like quarter. It's a sharp ass song from Code Gaze. Code Gias. Ooh, bells. Polaris, as usual. This is a little bit. Mm, I'm mean, gonna go back with a full piece of that thing. So for right now, let's put those down. Pick up the ones that I haven't cut the treble hole out of. Yeah, I would avoid the treble hole until you know you want to keep doing more mods. Because right now, without the treble hole, it's like, oh, it cuts down the treble a little bit. But do you miss it? Because you're talking about a mod that's undoable by literally just, just yanking the, the wire right here. But let's take this one off because I have... See, this is what happens when you don't modify it with the scissor. And I'm going to obviously put these back in my uh, 60s, my grotto 60s. So those, those stay uncut. Just like real people, uncut. Um, oh, you can see you can see the actual shape and size of it. Let's put this back on here. Now it's going to be extremely loud unless you lower it. Oh yeah, like literally that was at one o'clock, and now without trusting anything but taking the pads off, I can't even touch eleven o'clock. That that's that's a huge swing of like that's correct volume. Oh god, that's correct volume. So just be aware when you put these on, you're going to need to crank it. And I have the only concern with that is you're playing them loud. Like if you played them, if I put this back to where it was, where it just was. and Like I feel like I might be, you're probably going to incur driver damage at some point. Like you're pushing it harder than it wants to be pushed. Where a normal person with normal pads and no mod would be like, that's too fucking loud. And you would lower it. 
this is now you're you're required to push it to like take it to the limits and it could just mean premature driver failure it also will change the way the driver moves because you're pushing more power through it so where the kph 30 eyes are happiest now you're like work harder so it's gonna change the way it responds which is probably why the treble holes were not a good idea I mean, we do this live on camera. You pay me to do this. If you're a patron, you pay me to do this. Uh, so thank you very much. So yeah, so I would probably, what I'm probably going to end up doing now with this pair, now that I've started the modding process of being absurd, either just put the thing in or let's yank one of the actual real pads off. Because at this point now, I've basically removed the benefits of having the stock pads on there. And I just... <sighs> this pop off I forget how this you can get these pads off if you go real real gently see how it there's literally spikes that squeeze against the inside of this thing which makes it a little bit of a pain in the dick but you can get it out if you work it not rip it like it's it's it sounds like I'm ripping it but I'm not really ripping it but it sounds like I'm ripping it not I'm ripping that one that one ripped so like these are not designed for this they're they're a $19 set of headphones so here's a stock pad and that's what it looks like and there's my driver. And if I put that on there, let's let's pull this off. Oh god. I did the sound demo by the way with that setup yesterday. So it's just no treble hole. Oh, I want to um give a little thing though. Oh my god. The sound demo to record this pair of headphones was the most equalized and corrected sound demo I've ever done. More than like Abyss. Like when Abyss, I got the Abyss headphones. I was like, yeah, I need to deal with the planar. Fuck it, the, the planars have magnets and shit. For some reason, th this... I don't have a pair anymore. This with the pads on it was nearly impossible to record. I was dropping the 20, 45, 50 hertz equalization things 12 decibels down. Or it was just bass. I don't understand it. I don't understand. Like, I've never been able to record it because you can't get these pads on the fucking recording rig. So I figured with the big pads, I gave it a shot. And it was a fucking nightmare. And I haven't even done the post-processing yet. We're probably going to tweak it even farther. Yeah, we've, we, we've um, removed a bunch of that stuff. So let's see what this sounds. Sorry if I'm rambling now. Now it's just more like a mad science hour than anything else. Got that in the slot. These are probably going to be the most painful to listen to things. Removing completely. Oh, <laughs> And now you actually want that clamp. You you want the clamp. So if, un, if you've unclamped your um, KPH-30Is already, you may just want to pick up another set. Because if you don't have the clamp, then you can't... Like, these things just need to grab onto your head. Here we go. Uh, let's lower that. Stop pausing the music. Wait a second. Startling realization. Welcome to modding headphones, number 101. Don't expect what you expect when you do things. So, it's a little bit louder. Weird, weird. I did not expect this. Okay. I hope you made it this far in the video and you're still watching. Take the pads off. The treble, uh, they become more efficient. I'm, that's why I just did the swap test. I'm like, wow, didn't I have that up at like 1 o'clock before? Now, you take these pads off, it stops blocking the whole of the driver. You get more driver exposure. You can keep the volume lower. It removes like, so now it's only like a 20% increase in volume instead of 50. You keep the volume lower. It doesn't exacerbate the treble because you're not, you're not this. It's instead of just like, instead of this, a little bit more, just a little bit more. The treble's gone. The treble spike is gone, but we've exposed the treble with the distance. 
Oh, fuck. I'm not re-recording that demo. That's number fucking one. I'm not re-recording that demo. It was a nightmare. So take the sound demo as you please. Just know that this is such a cheap headphone and mod. I mean, I will even link a scissor, but it will not be a vintage scissor. Please go find a vintage scissor that, like, it's got the marks on it from when they, like, broke the fucking casting. It doesn't even have a name on it. How is it so tight? Like, this rivet is, like, amazing. Um, these are now, now, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Nubiles, Nuj, Nuj, Nujabees, Nujabees? I thought it was Nubiles. Why'd I get a B? I moved the B in this, this track. That wallpaper, by the way, available because the pads, big pads, exposed big pads. Yeah, so I guess I guess taking the pads off means you're just doing a pad swap. So you're pad swapping from t to these, and you're just you're modifying them a little bit. I could actually continue the cut a little bit more. Where's my where's my scissor? Just gonna bring. Just gonna bring. I'm not gonna try to cut this whole pad in half. That would be a terrible idea. But I'm going to make it so that the wire can go out straight down the bottom. There we go. There we, there we go. Look, look at that. Yes. I did not expect taking the pads off would be the absolute... That's it. So you can, here's the thing. You can try them without taking your pads off so you can return back to stock. Some people, I, I don't know if you love the stock feel or, or certainly, well, here's the thing. Walking outside with these now makes you look like, well, people are going to say things about you. Um, walking outside in these is like perfectly fine. But this is, this is the cheapest, best mod for a headphone that has ever been. Ever been. This is even cheaper than a mo normal pad swap because these fuckers are $10. $10. You should buy a pair and then just put them on your desk and like put an apple in it. Boom. Here, it's my phone holder. Boom. I've made a phone holder. That one's my coaster. I could be that asshole. I've used my coasters. Here's my coaster. Here's my, my, my G Kush coaster. For $5 a piece, it's fucking worth it. Yeah, this, this now. There's an impact there too. Wow. Wow. We have unlocked the KPH-30i's full potential, boys and girls. I'm also playing them on a Class A, like, Rebel Amp. Let's switch to this. I wish things were heavier. I think when I do my desk over there, I'm going to figure out a system to either do the bookshelf method, where everything stands up vertically, or clamp the fuck out of it. So, like, line up my equipment and then have, like, a thing that I screw down so that nothing slides when I plug and unplug, because that's the most annoying thing ever. And blue tack could help, but you know, I, I don't trust it for, like, infinite... God, KPH, I, 30, scale well. They scale. I can literally hear a difference between these amps. I just want to keep talking about them. This is not even a review. It's just a fucking... Oh, the thing I was going to talk about. Um, I reviewed these four years ago. Get off there. These are the Shure 1540s. You recognize these pads? These pads are more famous than the headphones because I recognize these pads. If you can get them on a headphone, um, ESS422H with this pad swap on it, amazing. These are the pads I recommend for the T50, the Fostex T50. If you can't get up to Argon level and you have T50s, you buy the 1540 pads. But these headphones have been the back of my head for like years because they're one of the lightest, most comfortable, because pads, most well-designed. Like, just the, the look, like the carbon fiber and the metal and the, 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 the smoothness. Ooh, yeah, fill me up. One second, baby. Getting video messages from Princess Pasta on Thanksgiving. It's interesting. Um, they use uh, MMCX connectors. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I get you out? Okay, I'm not going to yank that out, but they use MMCX connectors. Their wire is horseshit. They come in a nice case and a horseshit wire, but I put a, this is a DD Hi-Fi, see, it's linked to the DD Hi-Fi replacement uh, balanced, look at this, DD, look at this balanced 4.4 Pentacon, and then I have the DD Hi-Fi adapter, so that I could use a three and a half millimeter and plug it into the a quarter inch adapter. So, these headphones suck. 
These 1540s are the biggest disappointment I've ever had in my entire life. And they dropped on sale from $500, $500 to $400. And I went, you know what? The people want to see me modify headphones. And I could modify headphones that other people modify. But this was my biggest disappointment in life. This was like, I love the, the, the thin double strap with the, the, the pads. And the clamp is the most linear clamp that has ever been on a headphone. There's no, it gets hard to pull. It still doesn't hard to pull. It's just, it's all perfect. They're perfectly comfortable, lightweight, amazing. MMCX, so I could use IEM wire headphones. They suck. Putting them on the Rebel Amp made them a little bit better because it trimmed the top end a bit. But the sound that comes out of these is absolutely not. The fuck these. These will shit all over what those do. Now, I know those are designed to be like linear, flat, flat linear. And I'm not really a flat linear guy. But there's flat linear and a respectable like the like those. Those are the Mackie uh, 450s. And then there's that. And I know there's the 1840s, which are open back, but... Uh, it doesn't matter. Shores have no soul. Beautiful build. Spectacular feel. No soul. So I'm going to modify those. I'm going to spend the time, just like I modified these, just like we've just turned these into some fucking... Um, yeah, no, these are $500 headphones now. These are worth more than those. For under... Jesus Christ, under $30 right now at the sale price. 19 and the cheapest one was what, 11? $30, head, $30, $30 fucking $500 headphones. There are so many headphones I'd rather not listen to and rather listen to these. So um, I want to thank that person on Twitch for fucking... Because that's what you got to do with me. You got to hammer me. You got to hammer me and hammer me and hammer me and then pay me. And then I'll do... I'll be, it'll be great. We'll be great. So if you have KPH 30 eyes, spend 10 bucks. That was a good catch. If you have Grado pads, spend 20 bucks. Then take your pads off, which did an exact opposite thing. I thought it was going to be too much, but it just lowered our average volume down, and that solved everybody's problem. This is fan fucktastic. These are fan fucktastic. These these deserve that wallpaper. I, d d do you understand how this channel works yet? All right, I'm going to go start my turkey because it's Thanksgiving. And you know what? I'm going to unplug this, and I'm going to plug this into the earman and i'm going to put this in here and then i'm going to put these on my head and then i'm going to go wait don't look at that don't look at that no faces go to fo and we're going to do alice and chains yeah these are these are these are these are the best i'm going this is it I'm, I'm i'm this is it this is it everybody we figured it out happy thanksgiving